What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Dynasty Warriors 4 Expert Mode. They were doing a fun one. I think it's fun anyway. Damn. That's a cool outfit. Played as every other member of the Soon family at least once, except Soon Quan. No we'll I'm gonna start with Liu Biao just Advance. because he's he's one of the harder ones. He gets more soldiers than the other guys. Bam. Everybody's having a good day. I really wish they'd do something with Soon Quan, man. He's just so. And I talked about this in the last. I guess it. Um. Assault on Lu Biao, I think, is when I played as him last time. But. He just doesn't have his. I, I don't feel like. You know, Liu Bei, he has pretty clear goals, ambitions, right? Uh, Cao Cao, pretty goal, or pretty clear goal, ambitions. They want them, both of them, they want to end the warring. Liu Bei wants to restore the Han Dynasty. Cao Cao wants to make something stronger. Uh... Sun Quan, he's like Ben Diesel. He's just family. What are you fighting for? Family. Yeah, but why are, why are you trying to conquer the land? Family. Kind of nonsensical, really. Uh, let me in. What I think is interesting about all the Wu um, leaders being in this one is, is that it's called Unification of Jing Province. And none of those guys ever had territory. Well, Liu Yong, Liu Yao, uh, he may have technically had a little bit of Jing Province. Wang, uh, I guess it'd be Wang Lang. And Yan Bayou definitely did. I'm hitting Mortal Kombat combos in this bitch. You see that? Soon Quan, they need to they need to figure out what makes him tick. Um Need to reinvent him some way. Just felt my house vibrate. It's not good. You are a hero without equal. Can't get me. Quit 
Do you not get Zhang Zhang as well? I guess not. I thought all of the uh, the kids participated in this one, but I guess they don't. You know what's really cool is I've been playing a bit of Dynasty Warriors 3 lately. And I've talked some about Dynasty uh, Tactics. But if you haven't played Dynasty Tactics, you wouldn't know that Blue Boo has like a super cool outfit in Dynasty Tactics. Well, in Dynasty Warriors 3, I don't know if it was unique to Extreme Legends or not. Uh, but I know that if you had Dynasty Tactics 2 uh, save data, you could get the Dynasty Tactics outfits and versions of Lu Bu and Zhang Zhang. Who Zhang Zhang is like the powerhouse of, of Lu in that game. She's one of the absolute strongest officers. Especially at the start of all the campaigns. Especially at the start. Um, so, it's really cool. And I got to play as them. And they're like, their icons change. If you look at the unit info or whatever on the menu, look at the map, their icons change to represent that as well, which is really cool. Instead of their Dynasty Warriors 3 counterpart, they look like their Dynasty Tactics too. Of course, all their voice lines and stuff are the same. But it's a really cool little uh, inclusion for the people that... Because Dynasty Tactics 2 and Dynasty Warriors 3 were released around the same time. Uh, uh, individual projects, of course, developed by the same company, but I don't. they probably didn't have the same developers. Koei is interesting in that uh, they simultaneously published a lot of the games that they also developed. Of course, you know, there's a bunch of big companies that do that. Uh... You know, companies like EA that have, you know, four or five different development studios that work for them. Of course, Koei, I think, has, what, the three now. Uh, they got Team Ninja, which does, like, Ninja Gaiden and uh, Dead or Alive, Neo, Wolong. And then now... And they have, uh, gosh. Right? I'm trying to think. What? Who are the people that do Dynasty Warriors again? Omega Force. Omega Force. So, um, then they have the, the people that do the Atelier games. The guy who they have doing their social media, he loves the shit out of, that, of, of those games. The guy who does their social media for... I don't know if he d just does the American one or uh, whatever. Now I think about it, I think he may have quit. I think I think he had a post one time where he talked about moving on or something like that. That would have been nice or whatever. But... Um, He loved the shit out of them games. He, uh, marketed the shit out of them. Did a good job. I remember when Dynasty Warriors 9 was going to come out. They had another. Of course, they, they do. There's more Atelier games than I think there are Dynasty Warriors. Or at least it seems like it. And they had a, they had one of them games coming out at that, around that same time. He talked about it more than he did Dynasty Warriors 9. That was a nice little mission.
the boys are never going to make it to level 20. Okay, thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I think we got another Dong Zhuo mission next time, but I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.